So I'm Kate Hargreaves. I'm the principal of Living Learning English. Um, we're an organisation that I set up 20 years ago, so we're quite established in the market. Um, we do two things. We um, have a guardianship programme for international students in boarding school, and we also offer home tuition English language courses. Um, these are quite complementary services because the, um, the schools need students to have guardians, so we provide homestay um, services for them. We have travel managers that arrange a travel to and from school. And we also support the students in their educational progress at the school. Um, we have a, a very good staff team um, of three guardianship managers in the office. Um, and they speak a, a variety of different languages. We're multilingual, so if, if um, uh, agencies are placing students with us that speak Russian or Spanish or um, Portuguese or we have Chinese and Japanese, so we can operate in all, all of these languages, which I think is something that really helps us give a very good service to, to our students. What is the crucial factor, do you think, for, for, for the best sort of guardianship that is offered? Is it experience? What, What's going to be yes. important? I think, I think our 20 years experience working with international students you know, really helps us provide a good service. We know what it is that students need when they come to Britain for the first time. We know how to support them um, in their academic studies. We know how to find the right host families that are going to care for the students in the times when they're not at school um, and, and to support them um, in achieving the best, really, at, at school. Mm. In, in, in terms of uh, the, the, the language support that mm -hmm. you're offering, how does that work? How, how, how yeah. is that, how okay. is that achieved? Well, we're quite unique in the market because um, most language provision is offered in a language school, traditional language school or summer camp. Um, but our language provision is um, in the teacher's home. So we have a network of about 400 teachers around the UK in all locations, in cities, in the countryside, by the sea and national parks. And our students go and live in the teacher's home and have lessons at home with the teacher. So in a way, it's, it's a typical setup, um, like a language school, that they'll have three or four or five hours formal tuition per day. But the rest of the time, they're doing activities and excursions with the teacher. They are... Um, uh, immersed in a family environment but with a professional teacher family environment so the progress that they make in English is, is huge. Um, we can also on those courses we can we're working with individual students so we can target the language that they need so if um, the students are studying for exams, um, IELTS um, preparation or if they need to do boarding school preparation uh, perhaps focusing not just on English but on mathematics, on um, science perhaps um, business studies or, or even psychology, we can find the right teacher for them um, for that purpose. You're, mm. you're in a business mm -hmm. providing an astonishing degree of care and support. Mm -hmm. How important to you is the quality of the person that you're choosing for each of the different aspects, be it teaching or guardianship yes, or yeah. family? What are you looking for? Okay, so we're looking for somebody who, who has a professional qualification in their field. So if they're a language teacher working with us, then they're a professionally qualified teacher with a degree and a quali qualification in teaching English. But the other aspects are, are the warmth and the care that they're giving to the student, the hospitality that's on offer in the family. So we're very, very particular about the quality of the homestay that we're providing um, and the service that we give. And we're, we're accredited by the British Council. Um, for our language courses, which um, again have very detailed criteria on the level of service that we must provide. We're also accredited by Aegis for the guardianship service. Um, so everyone has to be fundamentally a trustworthy uh, employee, for want of a better yes. word, down to a, 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 a driver. For taking a job Absolutely. On. Yeah, so, so, so we, we trust these people implicitly with the care of somebody else's child. And we've built up good working relationships with them over a number of years. We know our drivers, we know our host families, we know our teachers. Um, and we're only really working with the best teachers that we can trust to provide the service that, that, that we require and that uh, the, the clients require. I hope not a difficult question, mm -hmm. but if something goes wrong for a, yeah. for a, for a child in, yeah. a, in a scenario, what, what's the sort of chain of support that will fall into place to look after them? 
Okay, so if something's not right at school, um, the first contact is obviously with our with our guardian managers in the office, and hopefully by the time if the time by the time something does go wrong, the the child will know our guardian managers. They will have been visited at the school. They will have got to know us. They know who to contact in the office. So they contact us, and then obviously we'll look and see whatever the the, the problem is, the issue is, whether it be sort of uh, academic or maybe some help they need in the boarding house, and then we'll just put into place whatever is needed to support that child. Um, and uh, you're liaising therefore with schools and yes. agents still yes. and parents. Yes, so so that's right. We're we're kind of um, the, the the pivotal central point in, in this network um, between the child, between the school, um, between the parents, between the agents. So we're communicating with everybody, informing everybody as to what's going on, and also then uh, having everybody's input into the best way of resolving the problem for the child. Mm. I've always thought it, it's the most enormous challenge mm. for little people to come away from home and maybe mm. a huge distance yes. and, and to be there in the UK. Mm -hmm. What is it finally that, that you think is the magic that, that LLE is going to be okay. helping them in that extraordinary challenging situation? I think the first thing is understanding that those challenges that that child is, is facing, really understanding what it's like to come and study and, and to live in a completely different culture. And then I think with, with the, the families that we have, and particularly the home tuition aspect of it, it's providing a stepping stone because it's very difficult to come straight from China, straight from Russia, into a boarding school, into a completely different culture. Whereas if you spend a month with a teacher at home learning about our, our sometimes quite peculiar English ways, and how we live and how we work and how we talk to each other, it can really help in that next step in, in terms of integration into school life. That's what, are, what, are the, what, are the, what has made you proud recently? What have been the special things okay. that you've thought, wow, that was, that was terrific? I think it's, it's the feedback we get from our students and the people that we work with. We have phenomenal um, feedback in terms of the emails that we receive all the time from the clients. We have a big word of mouth reputation. A lot of people recommend us to other people. Um, and then this year we, we, we were awarded the Education Stars Award for the best English language school in the UK which we're immensely proud of. Um, and that, that award is based on customer feedback, um, student feedback um, on the quality of our courses, on the quality of the accommodation, on the support that we give. And at the moment, we're running about 95% satisfaction rate, um, which, as I say, I think it's a, a testament to the, the sheer amount of hard work that goes in um, on, from the, the host family side and the, the, the staff, their living learning English team that work in the office to make this happen. A final question. Mm. Trends. Do, do you see a higher demand, an increasing demand from uh, international families and, and, and agents yeah. for what is being offered here in the UK? Generally, um, yes, English language is in huge demand. Uh, you know, it's a world language, it's increasing, everybody needs to be able to operate in English by the time they go into the workplace. So there is, um, working backwards, a demand for language courses, a demand for um, boarding school education um, and English culture. We are seeing um, our kind of um, individual approach to language learning increasing in popularity as there are more Russian speakers in the schools. Um, people are looking for the ways that they can improve their English on an individual level. It, it's the need for that communication skill, yes. not just that basic understanding of vocabulary. Absolutely. I mean, you, you can learn grammar um, at a school in Russia, but to be able to speak to an English person all day, every day, and to have the confidence to speak English, um, that's, that's something you can get on our courses. Mm -hmm.